Welcome back. We're going to do a little bit more today um, just to kind of continue what we were doing with, with object-oriented movements. Um, so to start off with, we've got most of this lifted up to be object-oriented. There are some things that we can do a little bit differently to better adjust um, how things are operating. So right now, we have a main display loop that does a main menu, and we have the game loop that does the game itself. And some of that's been lifted, and some of that's up here in object-oriented space. Some of it's still on that config, and some of it's standalone function, like this one right here. So we need to continue to move forward with changing this up. So the first thing that I want to do now I'm going to introduce a new type of data structure. So we're going to talk about enums. So from enum, import enum, the capital E on enum on the second one. All lowercase here, capital E on that one. What we're going to do down here is create a class called uh, directions, and it's going to be an enum class. And now I'm going to, in all caps, none is one, left, actually left is one, none is zero, um, right is two, up is three, and down is four. And the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to introduce a few changes. Instead of direction none like this, it's going to be directions none. And I'm going to copy that because it gives us this ability for the program itself to work with these directions. And I'm, I know that these quotes are in the way. So we actually have to back that all the way out anyway, because it needs to be all capitalized. But this gives us a, uh, the ability to take away these magical words that we don't actually need. Now the program can work with math and we can work with these words on the front end and not have to worry too much. Now for this, it's pretty straightforward. We just need to go through and replace what we've already got, just like we have in the past with other items. down up and left and right and what that does is just it removes that potential for having not put the right capitalization on a movement or something like that uh, it, it basically lets us further provide safety nets to protect us from uh, our own undoing. So now it can just look at these and go, okay, this is what I need to do. No big deal. So the next part that we need to look at, since we've got this in, in, in place now, let's look at what we can do to move these out of config. So I want to make a self dot game date. We're going to make that false. I want to make a self dot block size. We're going to make that 10 and a self dot refresh rate. We're going to make that 15 for the time being, and that'll get rid of most of this. Uh, down here, instead of change background, what we're going to put is uh, get background. We're going to reduce the convolution of this by get background is if self dot game state, meaning if the game state is equal to true, return, not return, return um, colors minty green, else return 
colors black. So we can now get rid of that. We can make it self dot get background. And that will decide whether or not it needs to return one or the other. And then we can come down here. We're going to grab the draw game and we're going to cut it. And we're going to move it up here to just under the main menu because this is another window draw that we need to have. And we can actually take screen out and put just self there. We still need to pass it the snake and the food, but we no longer need to pass it screen because screen is part of this um, object that we're working in. So now we can just do that. And then for all the spots where it says screen, we're just gonna take self screen and replace it. Boom, 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 no biggie. Now in here, we also have the capability of taking this block size. So self block size, which we already know is gonna be set to 10, but we can replace all these config block sizes to self block size on the draw game. So now when we come down here, instead of draw game display screen like that, it's just going to be snake and food, and it's going to be display dot draw game. Right up here, instead of B game, we're going to take that part, that top one out. Instead of B game here, it's going to be display dot game state. So we take this same one and we put it here, here, here and here. This becomes display dot refresh rate. Okay. This gives us some real refined control there. I'm going to take the snake directions and what we're going to do is we're going to put in and we haven't built it yet, but we're going to put in here snake dot move and then we're going to put block uh, display dot block size. We're going to take this and move it under the snake and it's going to have its own refine move self block size. And then we just replace that with just block size. We take self and we put that where all these snakes are. So now movement is going to be controlled by the snake object, but we're passing it the block size based off of the configuration of the window. So that's your move. Then it does the draw with the snake and the food. So all the way up here, this config should be able to be gone. But the way that we do that is we have to go through and check anywhere that's still using config. And we have to know that we can pass it the block size. So in this case, what I want to do is change food to just take in the display. And what that will do is give me display dot X and display dot block block size. And then this will be display dot Y. And then this will be display dot block size. Now, the reason for that is we can come down here now and just do 
on food, it'll just be display. So just pass a display. We can come down here and do the same on this instance of food. Okay. We're still using config X and config Y down here. So what we do is display dot X and display dot Y. And now no more instances of config exist. So we save it. And let's run the game. Watch it crash when I eat some food or something. There we go. Look at that. It's actually working. So we uplifted a few items now. We've gotten rid of the config. We added the directional uh, enum. We've gone through and cleaned up a bit of the, the drawing items to make sure that it all comes under the display. We've created a game state that is controlled via a game state boolean inside of the window controls that we've built class object wise. And that leads us to a fully functional snake game that is now more object oriented. We are we are still completely working. It's not it's not broken yet. Um, we've definitely made some some big strides forward here. And I think that will do it for this round of the uh, object oriented version. There is still more to go. There is definitely some pieces we want to tie together and bring together and reduce our usage on. And I think we could really take it a step further if we if we do. Um, but right now, this is actually slimming up. So the next things that we need to kind of slim up are controlling the game state inside of the uh, object instead of controlling it inside of the loop. And then also controlling the collisions, whether it's with the wall, with the tail, or with food, uh, control that inside of the snake. And then I want to set up a way for us to have multiple food on the screen as we get more difficulty levels. And then I also want to like continue to grow in that direction. So there's more to come, um, but that will do it for me today. Hope you all have a great day. Uh, please feel free to like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell, go follow me on Twitch, go follow me on Twitter, and uh, maybe come check out my Discord. Y'all have a great day.